Another thing that takes some additional complexity is actually using two potentiometers at once. Um, so you could, in a, in a different video, we've shown how to do one of these, and you could just add an additional um, an additional analog digital converter is, I guess, one way of doing it. But this is going to get relatively inefficient when you get um, you know, up to eight or nine pins, which is completely conceivable. Um, so I'm going to show it a little bit different way of doing it. So I'm going to make a new project, and I'm going to call this um, Multiple ADC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my analog, my SAR ADC, just like usual, and I'll leave it at all of its default settings. Um, and I'm also going to place some pins. So I have two different potentiometers. So I'm going to place not one, but two analog pins for my potentiometers, and I'm going to call it pot one and pot two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiplex both of these pot inputs into this uh, analog digital converter. So I can do that with the analog MUX component, this A MUX component. So place it here, and I only want it to be two channels, so I can open it and change it to two channels. I'll remove the one, and I'll just hit OK, and then I can wire it up. I'll wire it into the SAR, I'll wire pot one into zero, and I'll wire pot two into one. Next, I'm just gonna add a USB component so I can actually see the value uh, that is printed to each one of these, uh, or the, the value that's on each one of these potentiometers. And then I'm gonna open up pins and I'll do some pin assignments. Uh, pot one is on pin two, three, and then pot two is on pin two, two. So I'll just hit build and it's gonna ask me to configure my clocks for USB. All right, I'll go ahead and open up my main.c and we can get going. So I'm gonna start by initializing my components. Um, so I can initialize the ADC SAR, doing SA, ADC SAR start. And then I'll also uh, initialize the analog multiplexer doing A mux underscore start. Then I'll initialize USB, USB UART start, and then zero, five volt operation. And I'll do, uh, and then I'll just wait for the USB to connect. So while USB UART get configuration equals zero, then we will wait. And then at the end, we're gonna do ADC SAR start convert. And this will start the free running conversion process on the ADC SAR. And so when we want to read a value, um, we can do a couple of things. We can do int, um, you know, uh, potentiometer one, um, equals and normally we just do ADC SAR get result 16 um, but first we have to actually connect up because if we look in the hardware um, we have this multiplexer and we have to tell it which channel um, to connect to the um, ADC SAR first so we can do a must select and then we can select channel 0 for that first potentiometer and then we can do change it up to the second channel or to channel 1 and then we can um, read that as pot two. So our next challenge is to print these two values to the USB. And we've done this before, um, but the way we can do it is we just make a character array. Um, so we can call this print, and we'll make it 100 characters long. That's generous enough that it can contain our message. And we'll use the sprintf function in C. And sprintf function takes, takes the character array that you want to print it to. So we're going to print it to print is the character array. And then it takes what you want to print. Um, and so we want to print, uh, we want to say, well, okay, let's, first of all, it's throwing this error because uh, sprintf is part of the stdio.h library. And it, we're going to pass in some stuff. So we want to say pot1 equals, and then we're going to use a place marker. So percent %d is a place marker for an integer. And then pot2 is um, percent %d is the place marker for another integer. And then we're going to do a new line, so backslash r backslash n is for a, a new line carriage return. And then um, this per first percent d is going to be pot 1, um, and the second percent d is going to be pot 2. And so it has printed this string into the print array, and then we can send that to the USB. Then we're going to add a little delay at the end, so this doesn't happen too quickly. And then we'll go ahead and just hit program and see if it works. So once the device is programmed, um, we're going to need to connect the actual PSOC side of it um, to the computer so that we can actually see what's going on here. So we can open up the device manager, and we can see the, um, the kit prog is the programmer side, is this side of the device. And if we connect up the other side, we should see the, um, the PSOC appear as COM5.
So we'll open PuTTY on COM5, and we can see um, the two potentiometer values um, showing up in PuTTY. So you can see as we rotate these potentiometers, the corresponding potentiometer um, is changing in PuTTY. So if we rotate the other one, it'll be, uh, be pot 2 that's changing.